Welcome to a video on the identity matrix, and the goal of this video is to define an identity matrix. An n by n square matrix with a main diagonal of ones and all other elements zeros is called an identity matrix denoted with a capital letter I. And since the identity matrix is a square matrix, we usually denote it with, with the subscript as we see here for a two by two, three by three, four by four identity matrix and so on. So again, the main diagonal will always be ones and all their elements zeros. So if we have an identity matrix that has some special properties, and you can almost think of it as a one in algebra. Whenever you multiply something by one, it doesn't change. So for example, if we have a matrix A that is an M by N matrix, then the identity matrix times A will equal A and A times the identity matrix equals A as well if that multiplication is possible. And if A is an N by N square matrix, then A times I will equal I times A, which will always equal A. Let's go ahead and perform some multiplication with the identity matrix to get a better feel for this. So for example, here we have a two by two identity matrix times another two by two matrix. Remember this is a two by two, this is a two by two. Since these two numbers are equal, the multiplication is possible and the result is another two by two matrix. So to find the element in row one, column one, we multiply row one by column one. So one times four would be four plus zero times negative five, that's four. To find the element in row one, column two, we multiply row one in the first matrix times column two in the second. We'd have one times seven plus zero times negative two, which equals seven. And then here in row two, column one, we multiply row two times column one. Zero times four is zero, and one times negative five. And then for row two, column two, we have zero times seven, which is zero, and one times negative two, which is negative two. And so the thing to notice here is, here's the identity matrix times a matrix A, and the result is matrix A again. And notice in the second product, we just changed the order of multiplication. And let's go ahead and show the result will be the same. For this element here, we'd have four times one, that's four, plus zero. For row one, column two, we'd have four times zero, which is zero, and seven times one. And row two, column one, we'd have negative five times one, that's negative five, plus negative two times zero, negative five. And then lastly, we have row two times column two, negative five times zero, plus negative two times one. And again, you can see the result is the same. This is matrix A times the identity. The result again is matrix A. So multiplication is commutative if we multiply a square matrix times the identity matrix. And let's go ahead and try one more here. Again, this is the identity matrix. If we call this matrix B, we would expect the result to be matrix B. Let's go ahead and check this one on the calculator. Let's go ahead and press second matrix. Let's go over to edit, press enter. Let's call matrix A the identity matrix. So it's a three by three. And we have one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 and one. There's the identity matrix, and now let's go ahead and enter in matrix B. Second matrix, go over to edit, scroll to B, press enter. This is a three by three. We'll go ahead and enter in these elements here. And there it is, let's go back to the main screen. Second quit, and we'll multiply matrix B, second matrix, scroll to B, enter, times, times the identity matrix is in matrix A. So second matrix, enter, enter, and we can see the result is matrix B as we expected. So now you can probably tell why you can think of the identity matrix 
as the number one in algebra because when you multiply it, the result is the same. Okay, in the next video we'll talk about inverse matrices. Thank you for watching.